Hi guys, today I'm looking at the Miltech camp set. You see it comes with a couple of pots, a frying pan, burner, stand and a pot gripper. Now this is very similar to the uh, more expensive, in fact twice the price, uh, Trangia set. And both of these are based very much on the Swiss Army Meta 50, which I'd love to get hold of, but they're quite rare. And I don't know anywhere that's for sale at the moment, sadly. So I'll just take this uh, nylon strap out of the way that holds it all together. Obviously this is the first time I've opened it, so there's lots of packing paper. Here's the, uh, the, the pot grips, or pan grips, whatever you want to call them. I mean, it's all made out of aluminium, but it's nice that they've they punched a few holes out of it as well to try and reduce the weight as much as possible, if you're backpacking like. The, uh, the MEFS burner, which is fairly good, that'll do the job. It's quite a lot smaller than the one that's in my Swedish Army M40 mess kit though, but good enough for this. Uh, here's the base of the storm shield, and obviously the top half of the, of the storm shield. It also doubles up as the pot holder. Here's our, our first pot, and obviously the base is also the second pot. And the lid doubles up as a frying pan. So there you go, that's, that's what you get in the box. So let's put it together and see how it looks. Just get this out of the way first. So there's a base, your burner. Then your windscreen stroke pot holder on top. And then your pots just sit on top there, nice and easy. The rim around the outside, you know, just holds them nice and secure. And you can see there, once it's fitted in there, you've got like that perfect inch height gap that you need from the uh, from the burner to the underside of the pot. I mean, obviously when you're putting the lid on as a, as a frying pan, it's much higher, but for the two main pots, it's, it's pretty ideal. It's not lockable though, like what you get on the Trangia version. So if we just look at the base here, um, you'll notice that it's got some ventilation holes on one side and that's so you can control the airflow into it a little bit depending on what the wind conditions are like. You know, you just rotate it to, to face that to one side or the other. So now um, a big issue with things like these when you use the pot grips is they can be a bit wobbly and insecure. So we'll just pop this on here and see what the grip's like. That's actually pretty solid, that's, that's, a, that's a good fit actually. Give it a good old rattle look. It's not bad, you can see there, there's, there's not much gap is there? Now the good thing about this is that um, both the pots and the, the lid that doubles up as a frying pan They've all got the, the same uh, detail, the same profile on, on the edge. So, you know, it's got a good grip on all of them. It's really quite impressive. Yeah, that's not bad. Like I say, this is half the price of the Trangia one. I got this for 25 quid, including free delivery from Amazon. And I think you get quite a lot for your money, actually. So, yeah, that's a bit of a bargain. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.